It's Crazy Quilty March and it is prompt number two. I'm Pat Sloan and this is actually my fireside chat. So every week when I do the fireside chat, I will do the prompt first, just in case you need to zoom off and go do it. Although I'm doing this at 8.30 at night, but you might be watching it the next day. Um, so besides that, we'll be talking about all the different projects going on and I don't know, might have a goodie bag at the end. So you gotta stay tuned all the way to the end. So Crazy Quilty March uh, started on March 1st and we'll go every day for the month. I will do a video with a prompt and I have a calendar. So if you have not downloaded my calendar, I have a link down below the video. You can go over and uh, print it off and then check, check off the days that you do, make any notes that you want on it. I have my own notes. There are topics down below and they pertain to just sort of an overall guidance and then you check in every day and hear exactly what the challenge is. So today's prompt said fabric. Oh, by the way, there's a few that just say fireside chat. I know, I know. I'm not telling you yet what they are. So fabric. Fabric could be a lot of things, couldn't it? So I decided to narrow it down because I started thinking the other day when I was trying to find a border for the quilt behind me. Those are my uh, heart blocks from the Splendid Sampler one that on Valentine's Day, I decided to pull them out and finally set them. Even though I didn't have a hundred like I thought I wanted to have, I decided to do what I had. And I was auditioning borders for that. And when I was doing that, I had gotten out a uh, cocktail border. Uh, let me show you. So I have this print, this cocktail fabric print that I've had a long time. So I had it up there and it's quite striking. I mean, it it's, doesn't have a lot of different colors, which is what I really liked about looking at it is because it's uh, just got a little bit of colors. It's got a nice strong graphics, it's got little pops of that peachy orange, which looked really nice. Uh, and the black looked really nice with the hearts because they're very bold. And it was up there for a few days. Most of you did not like it. <laughs> just, just on the record. <laughs> I don't know. I go to anybody who said that they loved it because I actually loved it. And I thought very strongly about using it. This is what I say. It's some Hoffman fabric. I have to find the salvage here. Uh, I think it's Hoffman fabric. No, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Michael Miller fabric. But I don't know. They, they didn't back when they did this, they didn't put like a line name or anything. I have to go look or email them, but it's, it, I've had a long time and I have yet to use it. Well, when I was, when I had this up on the wall, I actually went hunting around to find like an inner border. Okay. So the drinks, oh, you got the drinks upside down. Okay. So here's the, here's the glasses. So I went hunting around for a border and I found this older cotton and steel that looks amazing with it and this fabric has you know just uh, some sort of you know, flower print on it but it's also very tonal just like this of very few colors and it is the perfect shade it matches this peachy orange in there perfectly so what i do i now have i decided not to use this mostly because i have quite a bit of it and i thought you know i'd really like to do something different with it um, it, I'd like to do something that showcases this fabric where I could actually use it in the blocks and then maybe use it in the border. Uh, and then because I had this, I thought, okay, I am going to keep these together. Now what I did is I just put them together back into my bin. You can look behind me there. See those bins on the shelf up there? The top shelf are, is a black a bin of black fabrics. And so these went in the bin of black fabrics and I thought, oh, okay, fine. That is where that goes. Um, for how long? I don't know how long I've even had the cocktail fabric, a long time. So this brings me back to our challenge. I got to thinking about fabric and what would be, I was talking once to Kimberly Jolly, the owner of the Fat Quarter Shop, and we were just chatting about stuff. And she says, oh, you know, I need to, if the fabric comes in and I totally love it, I need to sew it up. I need to make something and sew with it in a fairly short period of time because she goes, otherwise other things come in. And of course, you know, she's running a business and making things for that, but still 
it, it applies to all of us. Other things come in, other new sparkly stuff, right? You go to the store and you see like, ah, you know, gotta have that. Uh, and, and then our attention veers. And the precious fabric that you really love, this fabric that you really love, goes on the shelf for years. So my challenge today is to, to try to find some fabric that you really love, that you own. This is, you're going into fabric you own and find some that you really love. I did, I did this for two batches, that fabric and where is it? Here's the other. These are, I've not had quite as long, but the problem is uh, this is the Harvest Road and there's still some Harvest Road out there, but it's starting to sell out which means if I want to buy any companion fabric, there's not a lot of options even right now. But there's plenty of these, plenty of solids to go with it. Plenty, you know, I've got even a Jolly Bar and I've got two charms packs. I love this fabric. It is, it is really neat. It's very, it doesn't have a lot of different colors in it. It's got that green, it's got great plaids, the light blues, the dark blues. It's a great polka dot. Um, oh, and it's got sort of a taupey color too, see that? So this is these two, these two fabrics I have and I don't have a plan. So the challenge is we need a plan. We need a plan so that you can use your fabric into some sort of quilt that you want to make. Okay, so here's the challenge. You're going to find that group of fabric, like find one, I'll pick one or two. Like for me, I'll either pick this set, which I might pick this set because this fabric is so far gone. I'm not finding this. I have to, you know, think harder on. So it's going to go back in the bin, <laughs> but this one is uh, more current. So I can actually get some of the, some companion fabrics. So I need to decide you're going to find your fabric, whether it's some sort of bundle like this or whether it's just one piece, like a, really, you know, like a piece that you're like, you know, gosh, I need to use that. Get it, get it out. Then decide, <clears throat> you can do it two ways. You can either go and take that piece of fabric first and then go find a pattern or get the fabric and start finding some fabrics that go with it and build yourself a little kit of fabrics that go with this really fun fabric and then find a pattern because what you want to do is build yourself a little kit so that you have this um, kit of, of, the, of all together. And then the next time, like sometime this year, this is my challenge, sometime this year, and I'm going to bring it up again uh, and again and again, <laughs> is go and get this kit out that you did and make that, make that quilt. Because there'll be a point in time where you have space to make a new quilt uh, and you might as well make it with some fabric that you love before it's so hard to find things to go with it. Uh, but you might be working with this where it's a piece of fabric that you might now need to go and find uh, some companions to go with it because you've had it a really, really long time and you're not going to be able to find maybe pieces from the original line. Uh, so you need to go and find companions that work together which is always fun. I love that part. And if you're by a quilt shop, you can go in and they love helping you do that. So for me, because I have a Jolly Bar and I have Charm Packs, a Jolly Bar is basically two of these. It's just not cut or it's half of a layer cake. That's what a Jolly Bar is. So I went and got out, um, I got the, uh, the Jolly Bar book and I've actually kept, every Jolly Bar comes with a pattern. Here, I'll open it. When you buy the Jolly Bar, oh, good grief. Okay, when you buy the Jolly Bar, it comes with a pattern in it. And so, and they're really cute, and I've kept them in the, in the book. You know, I probably should have got this out before I, oh, it's in the package. Oh, good grief, it's double, double done. Uh, now it's sticking. <laughs> Sorry about all that. Uh, so the pattern is in the back here and I will, I will get it out because I want to see which one it is. Usually they, sh they have it packaged so you can see it. Alrighty, there we go. That was rough. So there's the one that comes in this Jolly Bar, which is pretty cute. That's a pretty cute pattern. And to do that one, it's a 56 by 56 quilt. If I wanted to make it bigger because I have basically two 
uh, of these, you know, Jolly Boards, I have these also. I just have to look at the pattern and see if I need something uh, bigger than a five inch square. You know, like if I, if I can just use the, I'd see how it's written, see if I can work. But I could do this pattern or I could look in the Jolly Bar book and they actually give you a little diagram of all the blocks in the back so you can kind of skim there and see the hearts are really cute. That's really cute. Um, I've done this one before with another, another batch. Or I can go into the Perfect Five and I can find a quilt in here. So that's another option. I could see something that is maybe super cute in here uh, that I like. Whoops, I sh should be showing you. So like there's all different patterns in here. I could do something like this, which uh, is really nice graphic and uses the pieces. Then I will write down, you know, what the pattern is I'm going to do and then put all that together so that I have a project ready to go. So that's your assignment. You're going to, for March 2nd, find that awesome fabric that you own and make yourself a little kit so that you have it for the future. And then later on during this year, uh, I'll mention it again so that you might get it out or you might have time soon to make it, you know, whatever it can happen something something will happen and you'll be like okay i'm ready I'm ready to do that but you want to use that fabric rather than just sort of let it keep going unused that's not much fun so now we need some other things here we've got going on besides every day in march having our prompt which shouldn't take you that long to do most of them yesterday was cleaning up our assistance or creating assistance in your space so I cleaned up the rolling cart that was sort of messy now I would say that my tactic for doing that isn't terribly good because what I did is I just took a bin over here and filled it with the things in there that I don't want in there but at least over here it's not like in a prime space it's still kind of prime but not really you know I, and I need those things but I need them all together somewhere a little bit more compact so that's what that does it's a little bit more compact that's my story anyways <laughs> I don't know if it's a good story but it's my story that's <laughs> so while you're doing all this let's keep talking on uh, tracking things or keeping track so I found out the scrappy planner came back in yay this is the one where I filled in all of my uh, projects here in the beginning you know so I did two pages of my projects and now what I might do <clears throat> is I'm thinking of coming back to the um, the planner part and and excuse me for the dates like writing in for March or even going back here to the March you know taking for this week and creating a March list for all of these um, things that I'm doing just sort of what I like to do is see what I've actually accomplished for March and if I use the scrappy planners the weekly parts of it I can go in and say okay week one of March week two of March and I can go and list what I actually did I cleaned this I made this kit you know and just sort of be able to look back over the month and see how darn much you accomplished. I mean, you can do it in a, a piece of paper, you know, that kind of a thing too. If you're doing your tracking of your projects, if you create this bundle, you might want to put it into your other, your project tracker so that you know that you created it, so you have it to work on. I like tracking things. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Who else likes tracking stuff? You like keeping track of things, how you do things. Do you keep track? You know, I think I've asked you before, how, do you keep track of how long it takes? <laughs> That's scary sometimes, how long it takes, but it's kind of useful. So we had the charity block come out and I'm doing my blocks with Bonnie Lane. So here is uh, this week's charity blocks or this um, is twice a month. So first and 15th. I think it's twice a month, yeah, 1st and 15th. So here there are two, two versions of the charity block all done with my Bonnie Lane. And then I'm doing the uh, strips, these sort of spacer strips in very soft colors, really, really soft colors so that they're not sort of popping out. I just love it. It's uh, the charity quilt along. And I did 
the cross stitch. Yeah, I finished it. For, well, I didn't finish the whole cross stitch. I did for the month. Um, as I told you, you know, it's a little hard for me to do the cross stitch only because I'm new at it and I have the book that I'm writing. I always blame the book now, but it's true. So there is my cross stitch. Da -da -da. I'm very excited. I'm up to date. Up to date. And then the next part came out, which is a super cute little patchwork basket and then a block. Of course, very similar to the quilt for the charity quilt along. So the, they, you know, you'll find each um, section is similar, has similar shapes on the cross stitch to the quilt, which I think is pretty cool. They did a really nice job of that. So that's sort of, that's pretty fun. Let's see, what else do I have going on here? I want to talk about the upcoming sew along for the baby charm, which I want to tie in sort of a charity thing and the baby charm uh, because my friend Melissa, who wrote the baby charm book, let me get it out of here. I gotta look at the time up there. Okay, I'm good. Whoops, sorry about the bang. Try to gather everything up here. So here's the baby charm book that uh, Melissa wrote. And there are, how many in here? I forget how many quilts are in here now. But they're just so darn cute. And we're going to be doing, let me, should, let me get a page to show you. There, like here, I just love, I love this one. Late blooming quilt. But they're all baby quilts in here. And what we're doing is a sampler, which I announced. Uh, the sampler taking one block or maybe two blocks from each of the quilts and putting it into a sampler. And the sampler is super cute. And the fabric I'm using is the Happy Vintage. And I have a block to show you. You want to see it? So this is the big star, the big star on the front. Look! Look at this. That's in the fabric that I'm using. Da da da. I just think that is so cool. And it turned out really cute. Here you can see the fabrics. There's some of the fabrics. So if you like, I love the little hangers. So did some pressing open of my seams too on this one. So I don't know if you ever do that. This is a way that it'll look. So it's uh, one way to do your work. Uh, and, and if you've never done a project where you press your seams open, I come from uh, making clothing which is pretty much what you do there. So if you want to try it, then maybe you'll try it on this project. Uh, the Baby Charming, it's called Charming because it uses charm packs. So, so that's why it's called the Baby Charming. So you need a bunch of, I think it's like five or six charm packs. Look at, I'll, I'll link you to the Baby Charming uh, details. But you need that many for the samplers. Each quilt in the book has a different amount that it needs <clears throat> because a lot of them are smaller since they're baby quilts. And the one thing I posted the other day was that from Melissa because I was looking at Melissa's uh, Instagram and she was sharing that she was donating some baby quilts uh, that she'd made from you know different um, patterns in her book to uh, her friend's charity drive. Her friend was getting take as accepting baby quilts for the baby unit uh, for the little preemies and stuff uh, and they're doing that out in Utah so I did list it once and I'm gonna list it again if you're interested in in giving a baby quilt to the event they're trying to gather 100 quilts to do a um, presentation of all of those and they're doing that in March so that is one of the super super cool things that come about in our community of quilt makers when somebody puts out a call for things they you know usually get a lot of people who respond and are very excited like i have a baby quilt already made that's back there i mean it's a little bit bigger quilt it's done with my bonnie lane and i'm thinking i might bind that up and send that out uh to them because they, you know, they, and they'll take, they'll gather them all in one spot and they're going to wash them and prepare them, you know, to, for pre presentation. So it sounds like a really wonderful thing. Uh, and there's a whole story behind who they are and the, the 
babies in their family that went through this unit and that kind of a thing. So it's really nice. So if you're interested in donating a baby quilt, maybe you already have one, you just need needs a home, uh, I'll put the link, I'll put the link on the below, 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 below the video. So speaking of that, if you are uh, here on YouTube, you can just go right below and subscribe and hit, click the bell and that'll always tell you when there's a new video. If you're watching this at uh, Instagram or over at Facebook, you can just also, I put the link to YouTube so you can just come on over here and it's always good to get the notices. I'd like to subscribe to everybody I like to follow because it's uh, nice to, and they put them on your side. You get the whole list of your subscriptions and so you can find who you're looking for. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Now this is officially quilt month, March. <laughs> I think that's a time when a lot of people just start revving up again for quilting. Although we never really stop, do we? <laughs> no, I don't think we do. But this is uh, International Quilt Month, or it's just Quilt Month. I like to call it Quilt Month. And I believe it's the 14th. I have it listed on the, on the Crazy Quilty March calendar. It is the 14th, is Quilt Day. The best part is that I work with Baby Lock and the amazing people there, I'm, uh, which might call an ambassador and they have a huge big event to, to celebrate uh, Quilt Month. And myself and Eleanor Burns are the featured quilters this month, and they are doing a sewing machine giveaway. They're giving away the Crescendo, which is an amazing machine for quilters. It has the light. This is the Solaris that I have, but it has the same light that my Solaris has. I had a, a Crescendo a little while back, uh, and it's a, an awesome machine for quilters. So I will have a link to all of that at my website under the videos here. So you can go over to the Baby Lock site and get the details on entering for that because it's run by Baby Lock. Who doesn't want to own a really nice machine? Who doesn't want to win one, right? It's like, who are the people that win the machines? They do win them. I've met them in classes. They've come to my, you know, and I've met them at shows. People come up and say, I won the machine for such and such. So people do win. Not me, but other people. <laughs> I don't need to win one. That's, so it's a, it's a really good thing. You, uh, you want to enter. And so during the month, this is one of the reasons I did the Crazy Quilty March is because it's quilt month. And for years I have wanted to do something big, you know, and often I was traveled a lot in March. And so, uh, but you know, now I can do, I can do this and it's exciting. It is so exciting. So let me, let me just move a few things here because I didn't open my sew sampler box yet. I saved it for us to open together. Ta -da, da there it is, the sew sampler box. And these are subscription box and I always save mine to open here. And so there are some things that are exclusive in it, but most of the stuff is not. So you get to see new things, get to see new tools. I use um, the little Ulfa uh, cutter. Uh, so this opens it up really nicely. Okay, it's just, I think these are a little, these are great. So, alrighty, and it's got a little magnet on it. So what I do is I just put it on the front of my rolling assistant there. Ta-da! They always have a, you know, sort of a theme for the box. So this one's called, I'm upside down, Lucky Charm. What do you think is in it? <laughs> Look at the plaid. Look how cool that plaid is. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, let's look at the fabric first, right? Got all the Mackinac Island. This is um, by Vinick and Simpson. Uh, just their fabrics are always so gorgeous. And I bet that plaid is a fabric in here. There's some plaids, but Mackinac Island. Has anybody been? Okay, let me just pull this up a minute. Have you been to Mackinac Island? I have, I was in the area, but we didn't actually get to go on and stay. I think we just drove over, but we didn't do anything else. So it's on the list to go back to. I need to go back, but it is such a pretty fabric. Very Americana. Yeah, look at that. 
Ah, oh, and a dot. Let's see what this dot looks like. Oh, I'm obsessed with dots. So that's a good dot. <laughs> Gotta rate them. It's a good one. So they also give you on the back of this thing, there's always a discount uh, code for the for the month for, for subscribers. So what else is in here? Ah, a, some of the uh, 80 weight thread, which is fabulous. So for those who have never tried 80 weight thread, lately um, the Fat Quarter Shops uh, uh, flash sales, they've been putting different threads on there. So you wanna be sure you grab it if you've never tried it. They also give you a card that tells you uh, what, what all is in your box and describes it. So that it goes through and describes, describes the things that are in the box. Like there's a little description of the 80 weight thread. So I love that part because otherwise you wouldn't really know what the stuff is. So I got some diagonal seam tape. Well, look at that. Hmm. So let's see, I think I read about this. Here's the, whoops, it's the backside. So here is the, the write up on it. I believe it is to lay it down. Was it for machine quilting? Yeah, here, let me read what it says. It is your guide so you can stitch the, you can ditch the marking pens. So it's a tape, washi tape, and you put it right onto your sewing machine. It features two fourth inch seams and a red center line. Okay, so it's for doing uh, seams, you know, like doing half square triangles and things like that. That's nice. Okay, we've got a template, which is, now this is the part that's always exclusive. Maybe not, the, the template might be exclusive this time, but the pattern. So you always get a pattern that uses whatever they get sent you in the box. So this month they have a pattern that, uh, it's a bonus pattern from the Sisterhood of Scraps book. There's that book which is a really cute book that my friend Lisa Alexander did and she did it with some of her friends and they each took like a concept quilt, like a theme, like log cabin and it shows a log cabin done two entirely different ways. So this is a little half, half hexagon to make these hexagons here. I believe there's probably other rulers like this out there, but it's kind of fun to have one unique just for your box. And then every year the sampler people also, and I believe you can buy these too, um, they do a, uh, like a, a block of the month. So you get the block of the month pattern. So that's a really good box with the, this is a cute runner. I might try this runner. I think that's really cute. I definitely wanna see what this is all about. That is cool stuff. And of course the thread, which rolled away by the way. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> what rolling across my table. So <laughs> there it is. That's the 80 weight thread, which is thinner. Uh, it was designed for hand, I told you about this on the other video recently, it was designed for hand applique, um, but you can also put it on your machine if you just do a bigger eye needle and probably 50 in the bobbin and just sew a little bit slower, you can you know, do some machine quilting with it, just very fine. Uh, it's, it's really nice, really nice thread. Okay, the other, one other thing that I got in was the So Colorful, the pink, the pink ones, and I wanna show you the pink ones because I need some new pink fabric. And I love these, these samplers because they, here they give you all the list of everything that's in it so that if you, you know, like one of them and you want more of it, you have the exact fabric and where it is. Look at the bunny. Oh my goodness, look there. Look at the bunny, the bunny fabric. How cute is that? What else we got? There's some. There's some really neat designs. And then there's some light, there's some text print and some other really pale. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, so there's a whole range of things. And this is a very juicy, let's, oh, look at the, I think that's probably Allison Glass. It has the uh, animal, there's strawberries and the moss. So I've, we're gonna probably this month do another discussion on fabric and how to sort of build up you know, like a, like your collection, because if you start getting one of your fabrics where you don't have a lot of options in it, like a lot, like this has always got a variety, light to dark. That's what's really nice about these um, these samplers. They're called the So Colorful, and it's just so every month there's one that will that comes out, and I'll link you up to that. So if you are in need of some, 
Well, I think there was a pattern that came out too. I have to look at where that is. So that's just so colorful. Well, I think I've talked about everything that we have going on. You know, we uh, the uh, drive down Bonnie Lane, the last one will be this month, which is the car. We did the stars. Let me grab that. We did the star blocks and twinkling stars. So you did a whole bunch of little twinkling stars. And then the car is last, and that is for, oops, I don't know where the pattern went. It's in there somewhere. But that's the drive down Bonnie Lane. At some point this month, do you see Norm? Norm the gnome? I'm going to reboot Norm. I keep saying that, but it's got to happen. He needs a friend. I actually have a bunch of faces made. And so... <laughs> They need the rest of the body. You need the rest of the body. Go with it. Okay. I have from last week, we have a prize. And it has got a whole bunch of super fun stuff in it. And <laughs> you're not going to believe me, but. I usually pull the name before I come here, and I forgot to do that. So, go to the website when this is done, and I'll have the name there. Because I usually announce the name, and I forgot to bring the paper over, and I don't want to say it wrong. So, sorry. <laughs> I don't usually do that. Totally, totally forgot. But we're going to do it again. We're going to do another one because it's quilt month. We got to kick it off, right? So, oh, that was a new one. This is the one that goes out to the person's name that I forgot to bring along. This is from last week. So, I'm losing it here. Sorry about that. So, this is what we have this week. And for quilt month, because we're doing all 31, my, my goal is for everybody to really have some fun with this, with the 31 days, and really enjoy your quilting and sort of diving into different parts of it and thinking about it different ways over the 31 days. So every prompt is going to be sort of an ex exploration or a thought or this challenge to get you thinking about your quilt making. So we have, let me just first show you what the goodie bag will be. I've got this roll of uh, Violet Crafts Basics. So it is got ah, really, really cool little prints, nice juicy colors. There's an orange, peachy orange. It's a lime green, kind of like aqua, regular greens. Got some grays in there. And there is a pattern that uses uses this. I think that's a pretty cool pattern. So this came came with that roll. You have to add some fabric to it, obviously. It's a little small. And then I've got a, because it's quilt month, whoever wins this one will get a maker pin and an Ulfa, little Ulfa rotary cutter pin from the Ulfa people, and a knife to cut things open, these great knives. A little different than mine, doesn't have the magnet, but it works just the same. I also have a pink stash and store, the little mini stash and store. <gasps> Isn't that cute? I just think the mini ones are darling. They can just sit like, you could even sit them right by your machine, put, put like little scissors in it, so cute. My friend, Celine Perkins, her seam guide, one of those. And the journal. Fat Quarter Shop sent me some journals to be giving away, so this bundle gets a journal. So tell me, what is the one thing you want to learn more about in quilting? That is the question. What thing do you want to learn more about? Is it a technique? Is it more about a certain person? Uh, is it more about uh, maybe accuracy? Is it more about something behind the scenes? Maybe you want to know, like, how's, 
you know, how is the thread really made? Uh, that kind of a thing. So tell me what you want to learn more about in quilting. What is kind of where is your curiosity at in your hobby? You know, what do you not know a lot about that you think, oh, I'd really like to know more about that? So that is what you need to tell me by next Monday for a fireside chat. And so I thank you very much for using all of our links. They support our family business, our little tiny weeny family business of Greg and I. We thank you so much. It doesn't cost you any more. So I love you. Thank you for taking part in Crazy Quilty March with me. Uh, this is only day two. <laughs> we have a bunch more days of, of, week, of daily videos, daily videos. So I will be seeing you online. I love you. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> I don't have my clicker. There it is.